Hi, everybody. Today we're going to be creating a um, underwater sea picture of the ocean. We're going to be drawing jellyfish. And so I'm going to share a video with you to start to show you some of the really amazing colors and um, facts and information about jellyfish, kind of to give you some inspiration for your picture today. Let me share my screen and we'll watch the video together about these amazing, colorful creatures. Jellyfish. Jellyfish have existed for millions of years. They were on Earth even before the dinosaurs. They live in oceans around the world in both warm and cold waters. Jellyfish can be all kinds of colors. Blue, pink, yellow, purple, and clear. Some of them even produce their own light. That's right, some jellyfish can glow. Jellyfish look a little like umbrellas, and they can be big or small. Clear jellyfish can be hard to spot in the ocean, but they're there. Jellyfish are invertebrates, which means they don't have a spine. They also don't have a brain, eyes, heart, or any other bones. They have a mouth in the center of their body that they use to eat food and discard waste. Jellyfish like to ride the currents of the ocean most of the time. But sometimes to move, they squirt water out of their mouth, which propels them forward. Jellyfish can have long tentacles, and those tentacles can have stinging cells inside of them. This makes them able to stun their prey so they can eat it. Jellyfish can live in shallow or deep waters and can come very close to the shore at the beach. You may have seen one before. But if you see a jellyfish, be sure to give it space. Their stings are very painful. Ouch! Jellyfish don't purposely attack humans, but sometimes we accidentally bump into them while playing in the ocean. Jellyfish are awesome. What's your favorite thing about jellyfish? All right, I hope that gave you some ideas of what you might want to include in your jellyfish picture today. You can do a couple of different things. So they mentioned in the video that jellyfish can be yellow and purple and blue and pink, and sometimes they even glow in the dark. So you might decide to do a really dark colored background so that it looks like um, your jellyfish are sort of glowing. Okay, you can also choose to do sort of a crayon drawing, um, giving the jellyfish somewhat of a realistic sort of design. Remember in the video, there were jellyfish with long tentacles and short tentacles and some were wider and some more circular, lots of different styles, okay? I'm gonna show you how to draw a jellyfish like this today. They mentioned in the video, I find this so fascinating. They mentioned in the video that jellyfish do not have eyes, they don't have a brain, and they don't have a spine, they don't have bones. So they just travel with the current of the ocean, but yet they still eat and they're still considered an animal. So I found it very interesting that they don't have brains or any, um, any real features like other sea animals have. What we can do though, if you would like to, is you can create more cartoon-like jellyfish and think about SpongeBob. SpongeBob is actually based on the idea of a sponge in the bottom of the ocean. And the cartoonist, the illustrator who created him just gave him eyes and a mouth and some silly details. So if you wanna do that today with your jellyfish, you can. So there's some different options and I'm just gonna draw both kinds on one paper so that you can see and you just decide how you want your drawing to be. Lots of options for today's project um, and lots of different ways you can color, or you could paint this, a lot of different choices, okay? I'm going to change to my document camera and I'm using a smaller piece of paper today and I'm doing this um, horizontal, or I'm doing this vertical, I'm sorry, so that the sides are long and the bottom and the top. 
are short. So this is called portrait. And the first thing I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna draw directly with a Sharpie just cause it shows better on the camera for you to see. If you wanna draw first with your pencil, that gives you the opportunity to erase. So that's up to you. Or if you wanted to go directly with a crayon, create this more um, translucent sort of look where you can see through them, you could do that. I'm gonna draw with Sharpie just so it's easier for you to see. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a half circle. Okay, I'm making a half circle. And I have that kind of, there we go, I'll turn my paper a little bit because I'm doing it sort of on an angle, right? The jellyfish is moving with the current. I'm making a half circle, sort of like a half oval maybe. And then I'm going to curve out just a little bit on each side. And then I'm going to give this a wavy bottom. Okay, so this is going to be the actual body of the jellyfish. So here's where one of your choices is going to come in. You can make short tentacles. You could make long tentacles. You could make tentacles that are curling, overlapping. They could be completely straight. It's up to you to add some of your own little artistic twist with this. Okay, so this is going to be one of my jellyfish. And then I'm going to make another one making the same technique, kind of that half oval, just a little curve on the sides, finishing it off with a wavy line, which we practiced using in class. Kind of looks like the top of an ice cream cone right now, nice, an ice cream scoop. Now on this one, I'm gonna do a different kind of tentacle. I'm gonna make these with a wavy line, but I'm gonna give this a thickness so they're not so thin. They actually have a little bit of weight to them. Okay, so I'm going to make these ones a little bit different. And you can decide how many you want your jellyfish to have. Okay, now the next thing I'm going to draw is I'm going to draw in some seaweed, some plant life, and you could draw more jellyfish depending on how big your paper is or if you want to add some other little fish or other sea creatures in here you can. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add in some plant life, some seaweed. Okay, so I'm going to do, coming from the bottom, I'm gonna start to make the plant come up, but it's actually gonna kind of peek right behind some of these jellyfish. And we've talked about that, so you're gonna to pay attention to where you're making your lines, okay? Because we've talked about sometimes things are in the foreground and the background. So these jellyfish are in the front. That means they're, they are in the foreground. And notice how I'm not drawing right through those tentacles. See how that's open there? I'm going to make the seaweed in the background. All right, now I can go in, there's many, 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 many different types of plants that you find in the ocean. So you can design yours differently. You can add little leaves if you want to. Lots and lots of different types of plant life in the ocean. Okay, so you decide how you want yours to look. Maybe you'll do your seaweed just more kind of with some pointy lines. Okay, so you decide how you want yours to look. Now, I said I was going to give one of these a face. You could make both of them more realistic, or you can make them sort of cartoony. I'm going to give this jellyfish kind of a silly cartoon eye. I'm going to have like a big white spot, a white reflection like this by just making two little curved lines and leaving two big white spots on the eyes. And then I'm going to give them a big smiley face. They're so happy in the ocean. Okay, and then this one I'll show you how I did with the crayon, even though I have the black outline going already. You could take one or two colors that you want to make your, make your jellyfish. You can take one or two colors, different colors. So I'm going to use, uh, let's see, I'll use a blue and this is a violet red. 
And I'm just going to give this jellyfish some striations, just some lines that kind of curve along with the shape of the jellyfish. You could color your jellyfish in completely if that's the way you want to design your picture. So you can color yours in completely. I'm going to just give it a couple lines. And if you are just doing this with crayon, you could have done your tentacles with crayon as well. You don't have to do them with the, the Sharpie. The next thing you're going to want to do is if you want to color any other parts with crayon, you can color in. So you could go through and color in your seaweed. And at this point, I'm going to have you pause your video and go ahead and finish your coloring. I'm trying to keep the video a little bit shorter for you. So you can pause your video, and I'm not going to finish coloring this in. Um, but you can pause your video and go ahead and finish whatever you're coloring and then come back and meet me and we will finish it up. Okay, now that you have your jellyfish all colored and your plant life is colored, you can choose to finish your background in a couple of different ways. One, if you have watercolor paints, you can paint the background now because you did the crayon, that's going to resist some of the watercolor. So you don't have to be so precise worrying that if you get some of the paint on the, the crayon, that's okay. I'm going to add a little bit of water to my paper first and I've already gotten my paints wet and pre-saturated. So now I'm just going to come in here and add, see how because I had water on that paper, see how it's just really bleeding the color all the way around really quickly. So this is one technique that you can do when painting with watercolor is paint your paper with a little bit of water first. Now be careful at home if you're just using like computer paper, you don't want to get it too, too wet, okay? Because that can then sometimes lead to getting a hole. So just be careful. You can add a decent amount of water, but just be careful that it's not too saturated. Now, another technique you can do is if you have some regular table salt at home, just salt that you would use on your food, ask mom and dad if it's okay if you use some, and you can sprinkle it onto your paper and let it dry. Don't touch it or move it around. You just leave it there and let it dry. And that will give you sort of this underwater textured effect like this. Okay, so that's another thing that you can do to finish your project up. If you would like to just color your background, one thing you can do is if you have a crayon that you've removed some of the paper, you can remove the paper on your crayon and hold your crayon on its side, like when we've done rubbings before. So hold your crayon on its side, flat on the paper. And then you can come in and you have to kind of turn your crayon a little and go in, in and out, getting around some of the things you've already colored. But notice if I go over those tentacles, because I'm not pushing really hard, it doesn't, it doesn't really change the look. Okay, and so you can come in and just add sort of this textured background that kind of makes it look like water as well. Okay, so those are two ways that you can finish up your jellyfish picture. Oops. <clears throat> and I hope you enjoyed the project and I can't wait to see some of your pictures. So you can send those to me through my email or you can send them to me on Seesaw and I will see you all again soon.